What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to another episode of Hunter x Hunter episode 126 where we left <coughs> Sorry, try to swallow spit and talk at the same time. Shit doesn't work <laughs> Where we left off last time was going Going and Killua or oh, fuck me. Why am I saying going and Killua? Gone, Pito, Pup, and Knuckle all in the same room. Pup and Knuckle go off and fight or they're about to go off and fight. Gone, um picked up on like uh pup and pito's hidden conversation knows that the king is south and knows that's where they're actually uh where pup's true body and yupi are heading um natro and marilyn are down here in some underground um he said he's gonna be this is gonna be your grave essentially um this is where you're gonna die i don't think he's gonna kill him i really don't um, this might actually end up being Natro's grave, but mm, we'll see. Maybe they'll both make it out of here. You know, maybe after, uh, Natro gives Meruem his name, he'll, like, spare his life. But maybe that's not what Natro wants. Maybe he wants, like, some warrior's death. He doesn't come off that way. I don't think that's what he'd want, but maybe not. He's lived a long time. Mm. Um, uh, anything else? I don't know. I kind of think at this point, Natro might have thrown everything at him that he could have. Meruem, I mean. And it hasn't done anything to him yet, so this might be Meruem's turn to attack. But, maybe not. He hasn't really done all that much. Like, not- I'm just mean he hasn't, um, used many different moves. He's done, like, two different moves, three different moves. Somewhere around there, maybe four. Because of the other things before that. No, maybe three. It doesn't really matter. I'm just saying. I kind of feel like... I don't know. That feels so short to me, though. I feel like this fight should be longer. So maybe it will go on a bit longer. But anyway. Let me stop talking so we can hurry up and get into it. Because I know you're all excited for this episode. So yeah. Uh, if this is YouTube, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. Link for that's in the description below. So check that out. Anyway. Other than that, let's jump into the reaction, guys. That's so weird. Oh my god. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Popular in small dictatorships. You put that in your heart? Are you bonkers? <laughs> wow. Well, with the right conditions, I guess you made sure it was safe. Right? Is Once your heart stops beating. But that's dangerous dude like what if you were around people and that happened to happen you know oh, could have killed a bunch of innocent good thing he made sure that they weren't near people because he probably knew that's probably probably why he wanted to um take their fight somewhere more isolated damn That was cool though. It was pretty. A rose. Poor man's rose. <laughs> Low budget and compact. That was compact? Shit. It was a pretty big bomb to me, but. Ah, shit. I like that. I like that name, Poor Man's Rose. Hmm. <sighs> oh, he's dead, dude. Oh, that just hit me now. He's dead. Ah, uh, it's still not hitting me, actually. I still kind of feel like in shock. It's not sinking in. It doesn't feel real. <laughs> he gave up his l I was right? He really died? He really died. He really gave up his life for this, and it still wasn't enough to kill him. I already know Marilyn's still okay. That conversation, though, at the end... You have no idea. Him telling him, Marilyn, you have no idea <laughs> what humanity is capable of. I mean, it's similar to, um, it reminds me of some things from Full Metal. They would say, it said similar things, like with Envy. Um, like, you're jealous of humanity because you 
a number one the fact that they I don't know what to talk about but I'll talk about the one that matters the fact that we can no matter what happens to us we find a way to pick ourselves back up and keep going essentially it's the same thing here like no matter what you throw at us even if you put us in these little colonies or fucking breeding camps or whatever the fuck even though he said that um, we'll we'll put you in a safe zone and reevaluate your value <laughs> um as a as a food source but whatever you do to us i got off track there whatever you do to us we're going to find a way to break free of the oppression and come out on top we are and i agree with him we do always seem to find a fucking way now don't we <laughs> wow i just don't know how i just don't know what you can do just but this is the thing maybe it's this just like the ants continued to evolve which they, i don't know i feel like at this point they have the upper hand their rate of evolution far surpa surpasses our own but maybe you know it's not like humans aren't capable of evolving so maybe one day someone strong enough will come along and we'll be able to defeat them it may not be for a long time but then again i don't know this arc isn't gonna last the whole rest of the show i heard this ends i think i looked it up i think it ends somewhere in the 130s i don't know maybe i'm wrong about that i was curious how long the arc was i think it's like 60 episodes i can't remember when this arc started Uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Whatever. There's just not too much longer to the arc, I don't think. So, but then again, just because the arc ends doesn't mean that the characters are going to go away or die or whatever. Maybe we'll come to some sort of mm, agreement with them. I don't know, Meryl. I might have to go back and read this. I'm moving this over. I want this shit alone. I'm not alone. Don't underestimate the human race. I love that shit. Where is it at? Ah, oh, fuck. Keep going too fast. Mm -hmm. I thought there would be something more. There it is, but. Oh, where there it is. This thing that Miriam said. We shall reevaluate the number and quality of humans to be used as food. I don't know, maybe, but this is the thing, he said himself, or was it the narrator, I should say, but he was um, telling us what Meruem was thinking, that he figured out the human ego was what got in the way of the, the ants' bond with each other and loyalty, right? So, that to me made it seem like you... You didn't want to use them as a food source anymore. Like, it made sense. With, it went along with what you said. Like, I'll make a zone where humans are safe and untouched and blah, 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 whatever, right? But then you say this. We shall reevaluate the number and quality of humans to be used as food. So that does not mean that you're not going to eat any humans. Maybe you're just saying, like, certain humans I'll keep safe. Now the others, they're up for grabs, but... I think he's going to be a bit more meticulous about it. I think what I'm gathering here is, and I could be so wrong, so correct me in the comments. So, um, moving forward, I'm clear on everything. But maybe he means, like, he'll be very particular about which humans he lets his people eat. I don't know if you, like, you choose humans who don't have a huge ego i mean because dude you were made from a lot of you were made from bad humans because what is bad so that's why i'm doing that bad humans so i don't know but but you, but you said you were gonna fight for the people who were treated unfairly so i don't know who you're gonna eat unless you just (sighs) 
you put, mm, I don't know, fuck, what am I trying to say, like, I don't know if their technology is advanced enough in this world to, like, make clones, but you could clone humans, because this is the whole thing, like, I think you're trying to maintain your intelligence, right? I could, am I, am I mixing this up with another anime? Oh, fuck, I feel like I am. But maybe I'm not. I'm getting something here, like, I think it is, this arc has been so fucking long, I'm sorry, but I think it's like, the reason they want to eat humans is to maintain their intelligence, right? No, this is not it. What the fuck was I think? I'm tweaking. That was the promise never land. My dumbass. I knew it. I'm like, this doesn't sound right. <laughs> um, no, so you don't need it. At this point, maybe you don't. Maybe you don't need humans. As long as you... Mm. Maybe instead of eating them, they just have to impregnate them? Mm? Can they? Can they get human? Yeah, they can, right? I think they talked about that a while back. So maybe quality of humans to be clean. I don't know. That just seems kind of complicated. Like, I don't know how you figure that out, but good luck. You'll figure it out somehow. Whoever you're going to eat, you're going to eat. I really don't even care. I'm, I'm spending way too much time on this. It doesn't matter. I don't even know if we're going to get to that point in the show. Like, I don't even know if that's ever going to even happen. I need to see how this all plays out. Honestly, if I was a betting woman, I'm going to bet that never happens like somehow somebody's gonna stop him shit i don't know who it's gonna be i don't know i don't know man like i don't know if gones as powerful as natro let's just say he's he is i don't think even if he was i don't think he'd be much more powerful than natro and i don't think that he is so even if he was i still don't think he'd be strong enough to kill him and how do you kill him Decapitation? Would that work? I feel like that'd be the only thing. I mean, she can reattach his arm, fine, but not, not, not his head. That, that's not gonna be enough. So, who's gonna even be able to do that, though? Hmm. Man, is this guy ever gonna die? I just don't know how you wrap this arc up. Like, I just, I really don't. How, how do you wrap this up? How? I can't even think of anything. Like, <sighs> damn, dude. What if he really does get away with all this? There's no one on earth that can stop him aside from maybe Gon's dad, and we don't. I have a feeling this guy is not going to be a part of this arc at all. What is even the point now? What is the point of Gon fighting Pito? Ugh, if he fights her, I mean... Is it just about... Because the king is the real is the big problem here. If you don't get rid of him, getting rid of his guards, like, that shit doesn't matter, Gon. It matters to you, but to the rest of the world, like, I don't think Gon cares, though. Gon doesn't give a fuck about everybody else. He just cares about Kite in this moment and getting him, getting justice, but also being able to um, get him back to where he was. So you can't kill her, but you need to, like, incapacitate her and then force her, maybe, somehow, to undo what she did which i don't think you can undo what she did to him but you know what gone you go ahead and try i really don't think she can do it though um anyway uh i don't know what else to say i kind of feel like oh my back <clears throat> sorry i feel like that's really it sorry if my reaction to the fight wasn't what you guys wanted <laughs> i but i'm being genuine and that's it. I don't want to lie about how I feel. But it was cool. It was. It definitely was dope. Um, but anyway. Uh, if this is YouTube, remember to like, share, and subscribe, please. 
and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. Other than that, I'm going to get out of here, guys, and I'll catch you in the next reaction.